r slash ask reddit what's the most overpriced thing you've seen there was that novelty app a while ago that was just a red gem app store made him delete it but he was always upfront what it was i am rich was priced at the max expense for an app then 999 dollars and 99 cents printer ink a few years back nordstrom was selling a rock and a leather pouch for 85 dollars that $6 asparagus water whole food sold a couple years ago. It was a 16 ounce bottle of water with 3 stalks of asparagus. Also, everything from Goob. There's a $50,000 HDMI cable on Amazon. Bread in Minecraft. That would be 64 emeralds. I saw an external zip disk reader in the clearance bin of Walmart for 10% off its original price, in 2011, so it was going for dollar sign 180 and had parallel ports, in 2011. Walmart is weird with prices on stuff like that, I wanna say it was 2 years ago I saw a whole shelf of and opened copies of the game legendary for PC, they were on sale for $49.99. I had bought it the month prior as part of a bundle with 9 other games in it that cost me $5. In a downtown consignment shop, an oil painting of sheep grazing in a meadow had a price tag of $18,700. It was by an unrecognized artist. When asked why it was priced so high, the shopkeeper said because someone will like it and buy it. My high school art teacher told me your piece is worthless until you have a buyer. Same idea. Celebrity line of products. Companies hike the prices of products by hundreds of dollars just because the name of a celebrity was on it. There used to be a nerdy collector's store nearby, and when I was about 10, 20 years ago, PFFF, I used to love it in there, even if not buying anything. I was stunned by the individual Pokemon cards that they had in the glass cabinet, with their rarity emphasized by their ridiculous prices. There was one that always caught my eye, the ancient Mew card, with baffling illegible text, the whole card being shiny and it being Mew. This was amazing. The £150 price tag showed that this thing was so special. They had it displayed in its own, velvet lined box. Me and a couple of friends dreamt of owning that thing one day. For reference, the Cherizard was £15. It turned out that it was only a promotional card for Pokemon the movie 2000. I bought one due to sheer nostalgia on eBay a few years ago, still in its packet, for £4. I remember seeing a basic scientific calculator for like $300. Bottle service at bars is duckin' stupid. I'll just go to a corner liquor store and buy the $4,000 bottle for like 40 Bottle service seems great when I'm blacked out and my friend orders it. When he Venmo requests me the next day it does not seem great. Diamonds. If there's any doubt on diamonds not really having any value, just look at the resale price. You won't get shit compared to what you initially paid for it. At first I thought diamonds were in the same league as gold, as in actual rare earth stuff. Turns out it is just a great case study of controlling supply and advertising to make the big bucks. Weddings. I don't disagree with wanting the day to be special and memorable, but the industry jacks up the prices if they know it's a wedding, and there are way more affordable options while still getting to celebrate love and the future. No reason to break the bank. Use the money saved for even more memories. At least part of the wedding tax is justified. Vendors will often put more effort into wedding stuff over non-wedding stuff and will often even have backups ready. If something happens to your wedding cake minutes before it is picked up you want them to have a backup cake ready. Because a refund at the last minute is next to useless since you won't be able to find a suitable replacement ready to go in the next hour. Sure the cheap party favors and other plastic crap you buy months in advance that you have plenty of time to replace shouldn't have a wedding markup. But the day of stuff that had weeks of prep, it is better to pay a bit extra to cover the backups and prevent Bredozilla meltdown wounds. I saw a snowmobile motor for $4,000 it wasn't even new it was like a 90s motor. It is the same thing with boats. An outboard motor is like always $1,500 or more. However, if you buy the motor with a boat attached to it, you are paying the same price. $800,000 for a 500 square foot condo in Toronto. As somebody who lives in a 700 square foot condo in Toronto I feel this on a spiritual level. The 40 gram Pringles can. 
IT's like 5 chips and IT costs 1 euro, 1 US dollar and 18 cents. It's not the even pure potato. It is potato starch I believe. Insulin. Discovered over 100 years ago and is now synthetically produced and still is being sold for hundreds or thousands of dollars in many cases. The drug companies decided they were going to make their gigantic profit margins off life-saving medicine. I remember when you could get test strips for like $10 over the counter. Now everyone wants a prescription and a wad of cash. Like I'm never not going to be diabetic. Why do I need to keep renewing this prescription? The $700 juice arrow. As if a Wi-Fi connecting juicer was even necessary, let alone worth the price point. Female products. Tampons and pads really don't have to be that expensive. Gold plated. Diamond encrusted Nokia cell phone. Why the hell would someone try to put fancy armor around something that's already indestructible? As a machinist who has made things for the military, most people don't understand what overpriced means. Preach. I bid a job for the military and they told me my bid was too low. I added a zero and got the job. Price I initially quoted would have been profitable for me. Food in movie theaters. The prices of everything is jacked up so much. Reddit coins. Luxury million dollar homes built with the same wood wall framing. Plywood and cheap vinyl siding as normal homes. It's mostly location though. The same house and different parts of the same city can vary widely in price. And when you get to really high-end houses the prices for some of the stuff that gets put in them is ridiculous. Especially when the materials are basically the same as what's in a cheap house. College. Beef jerky here in the UK. I accidentally bought an illegally imported 4 pack of jewel pods from Canada. I instinctively said mint. Knowing they didn't exist in NY anymore. Well. He pulled out a hidden pack with French warnings on it. I paid over $10 per pod. I swear. People sell oddly shaped cheetahs for thousands. Literally thousands. Most college textbooks. I remember seeing this post about a $275 book that was basically a stack of loose leaf paper. A couple of years ago. Marks and Spencer Food. A high-end supermarket in the UK tried selling cauliflower steak which was a thick slice of cauliflower for £2.50. It was covered in plastic. You could literally buy a whole cauliflower in the same row a bit further down for 40p. They were crucified for it. It was hilarious. 400 euros t-shirt in a shop in Zurich. So it was for gullible tourists. Since Switzerland doesn't use the euro. Handbags that cost tens of thousands of dollars. It's literally a bag to carry your stuff around. It ain't that serious. I only know because my girlfriend recently was telling me about this. A few brands are considered investment pieces. If I recall correctly Chanel bags hold their value and Birkin bags increase in value due to the fact they're handmade in small amounts. About 5 per year. United States Healthcare. Although seriously, HDMI cables in electronics stores. My dad worked in one and said never buy them as they cost £30 but are the same ones as Amazon do for £3. Now I know not all HDMI cables are equal, especially nowadays. But the ones they try to upsell you when you buy a TV are cheap overpriced shite. My pillow. $80 for $10 worth of scrap memory foam in a $1 pillowcase. As someone who is half blind, glasses, I get the dirt cheap ones, and it still costs over $100 for the privilege of being able to see. A banana taped to a wall. Clothes that are completely normal but slap a brand name like Supreme on them then they suddenly go up in price comparable to someone's rent money. Literally anything designer. Hand sanitizer on Amazon a few months ago. When I was in Dubai two years ago there was a cell phone store in the mall that sold phones that ranged from $30,000 minus $120,000. They were basically phones covered in diamonds and gold. That's $100,000 for something that is probably already obsolete. Cell phone plans in Canada. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.